Hello Dragons, my name is Imran Hakim and I'm here today to talk to you about iTeddy and iTeddy.co.uk. iTeddy brings the teddy bear into the 21st century by incorporating a personal media player at the very heart of the teddy bear. I'm looking for an investment of 140000 in return for a 15% share in the business. So if I can just take a moment to introduce you to iTeddy. <laughs> Apparently that's the iTeddy shuffle. Yeah, yeah. And that's the iTeddy hug. That's the iTeddy hug. We've not quite perfected it yet though. So together with iTeddy, I would love to demonstrate some of the actual functions to you. The user interface there, it's a very simple to use, child friendly menu system with easy to, identifiable, easy to identify uh, icons and if I can just for a demonstration put a movie clip on for you. This is one of the cartoons that would have been downloaded off the itd.co.uk website. That's the actual uh, cartoon plane. Now, if I wanted to go onto the audio player, very easy. Keep the button, button pressed. Just scroll to the audio player. And I can now play myself a bedtime story. The Emperor's new clothes. And put the whole function on. Put it there with the child so the child can gently Many fall asleep ago, and it'll automatically shut down. Uh, thank you very much for listening. I would uh, love to answer any que questions that you might have. It's an attention grabbing pitch by Imran Hakim, who's asking for a £140,000 investment to launch his iTeddy media player and its associated website. Theo Pafitis wants to know if there's more to the pitch than just an eye-catching stunt. Do you own intellectual rights to this? Yes. Do you develop it? Yes. From scratch. From scratch? Yes. Just briefly summarise that journey for me. <laughs> well, I was uh, sitting with my younger brother and my gorgeous niece, Amina, who's eight, uh, years old, eight months old. We, we had a bit of an argument to say, which of us could find the best toy uh, for her. I came up with this concept of a teddy bear that could do more. And, and I wanted to create something that could educate her as she, and, and grow old with her. So I, I, I decapitated one of her teddies and, and integrated some MP3 components that I had, created a monstrosity, and, and then managed to think, well, there's actually a lot more that can be done with this. And then I thought of the download aspect of it, of a high margin revenue stream that could be generated, uh, looked at what material was available that can be put on there that was child specific, and, and then I uh, continued to actually research the market on when was poison. That? This was, I'd say, about five, six months ago. And five, six months ago? Yeah. What protection have you got? We have a patent uh, pending which covers the um, actual idea of a personal media player being integrated with a, uh, within a teddy bear housing, within a soft toy. Imran's delivered an impressive account of the iTeddy's rapid progress so far. Peter Jones wants to drill down into the potential profitability of the invention. Imran, hello. Hello. Um, I kind of want to say congratulations, really. I never thought I'd say that when I first saw you come in with the teddy bear. Um, but you've made a, a fun item quite interesting and a, and, a, and a very good presentation. The cost of putting all of this together, because it seems quite an expensive piece to me. Sure. And what price are you looking to sell it at? We are looking to sell it on to uh, retailers at, for the MP4 version, £28 for the MP3 version, £20. We can make a 46% margin on the MP4, and we are expecting them to put a, uh, well, we are RRPing it at around 49, so we expect the price in, in, on the high street to be between 45 and 55. 
Imran's answering all the Dragon's questions confidently and projecting healthy profit margins right through his distribution chain. But Duncan Bannatyne is about to drop a bombshell. Imran, <clears throat> I feel so depressed. You made me so sad. Sorry. You've said the teddy bear is going to read bedtime stories to the child. That's the father's job. Sure. But I don't want to be replaced by a teddy bear. Sure. It really depresses me, this, this idea. And I don't think we should encourage joining technology and teddies together. I hate to see the growth of it. I hope it doesn't work for you. I'm out. Imran has felt the full force of Duncan Bannatyne's disapproval and lost his first dragon. It's an abrupt setback. And now Deborah Meaden has concerns about how vulnerable the iTeddy might be to copycat rivals. You tell me that you've got a patent that allows you, or patent pending, that allows you to place an MP3, or in fact any media player, inside a cuddly toy. Now that's quite a wide claim. Um, and that could be of interest. So can you, can you elaborate on that? When did you actually make your application? We... What stage are you at? Our patent attorneys, they've told us that they feel that there's a very good chance this pattern will yeah, be right. granted. I mean, these patent attorneys, did they do any searches? Yes, they did searches to say, well, they feel, they're and confident. what did they find in those searches? They actually didn't find a personal media player integrated with a soft toy. Imran, when are you expecting a, a ruling on the patent? Uh, at this moment in time. Uh, I, I couldn't answer you accurately on that. I am hoping that uh, within the next few weeks uh, we, get, we get somewhere further with it, but I couldn't answer you honestly on that at this moment in time. Imran's confidence is faltering under the interrogation about his patent, but his business also includes a subscription website for downloading cartoons and stories onto the iTeddy. Theopafetus wants to find out more about that side of the business. Have you got a demonstration of your website on his belly? I do, yes. OK. The I tell you, do you want to walk over with me soon? <laughs> <laughs> it's the itelly.co.uk website. And what it will allow children to do is the parent will be able to subscribe for the child. So two different uh, subscription options, 395 option or a 595 option. And once the child signs in with a username, it, it will be able to select a bedtime story, a nursery rhyme, whatever they, whatever they want to choose, and then straight away, drag and drop, put it onto their personal media player. If you license content from, say, if we did a deal with Disney, for example... I could, think that would be a fantastic... Could you, but could you utilise that in this device? Most definitely. Most, th that is the dream come true for this particular product. Despite the reservations of some of his rival dragons, Peter Jones thinks he's spotted a highly lucrative opportunity for the combined product and website. But will he back this up by offering Imran the £140,000 he's asking for in return for 15% of his business? Imran, I'd, 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 like to, I'd like to give you an offer. Sure. Uh, and the offer is... I, I, I would consider half the money for about 22.5%. OK. Uh, at the moment, I'd like to hold that thought, if possible. Imran, so we can move along sure. and make it happen for you, I'll match Peter's offer. Uh -huh. But mine's conditional. OK. And it's conditional that the pattern stands up. OK, okay so, so you're offering 70,000 in return for 22.5%. Correct. OK. Peter Jones and Theo Pafitis have joined forces and offered him round the whole £140,000, but for 45% of iTeddy, three times the amount he was offering. Richard Farley and Deborah Meaden have yet to declare where they stand, 
Can Imran persuade either of them to offer him a better deal? Imran, that's kind of made my mind up for me. Um, I'm not going to get, I'm certainly not going to make you an offer anywhere near close to that. I'm very wavery about this for the reasons I've explained earlier. So at this point, so just so that you're clear what your options are, sure. I'm out. Deborah Meaden's anxieties about the patent have driven her from the deal. Will Richard Farley have more confidence in the business? I think if you get the patent, I think your, your business can be worth millions. Thank you. But I don't think you'll get it. So I'm just going to back my own hunch that you won't get it, even though I know you've got lawyers saying, and I may well be wrong, I've been wrong plenty of times, but I just can't imagine that you can just find different places to put existing technology and get a patent on it. So I'm just going to back my hunch and uh, I'll, I'll step out. Thanks. Okay. With the other three dragons now out, Imran still has just one offer on the table from Peter Jones and Theo Pafitis. But will he part with almost half of his business for the £140,000 he so desperately needs? I feel that you guys would both bring a lot to, to the business. However, I'm a little uncomfortable with the amount of equity we're looking at here. If we can maybe look at 17.5% each, that's something that I would be prepared to do. So we're looking at around 35% as a, as a combination. Who owns the shares? I own them 100%. 100%? Yeah. 17.5% is something that would be my maximum that I would be willing to uh, go to um, in, in doing this deal. Imran's keeping his cool and he's decided to take the high risk option and try to negotiate the dragons down on their equity demands. Imran, hey because we are taking, I'm taking a flyer here, but I would be willing to meet you halfway. Okay. And offer 20%, and if Theo's. I'm taking a flyer, that's why. Um, for two and a half percent, you're taking a flyer, you're taking a flyer. Okay. So that would mean that you'd get £140,000 today. Mm -hmm. You get Theo and I, but for, um, for 40%. I think as well as your finances, your expertise is something that really sort of attracts me in, in, in the individual aspects that you can bring to it. And on, on, on that basis, I would be happy to do the deal. You got a deal, Marlson. Imran has done it. He's had to sell the dragons a much bigger slice of his business than he intended, but ultimately felt it was worth the sacrifice to secure their cash and expertise. So, Imran, you got your money. Does that deal work for you? I think it really does. Imran, I'd, 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 like, to, I'd like to give you an offer. I'll match Peter's offer. Uh -huh. With them guys on board, as well as the financial uh, backing, I feel that will be invaluable in trying to ensure that iTeddy becomes a huge product. Well, very, very well done.